boy. Show the message. Release the messages. Show the messages. <laughs> what are we in second grade? So most of you probably already know about the whole Dr. Disrespect situation and how he got outed as a predator by none other than himself in a tweet that he made over on well, Twitter, or I guess X, whatever you want to call it. And now he wants to pretend like he actually never did that and that he only did that to get one over on everyone and make everyone look like fools because he's not actually a predator. He's just pretending to be. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's Whisper's but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. I kid you not, this is what what is happening over on Dr. Disrespect's YouTube channel as he's back to streaming. For those of you who do not know anything about the Dr. Disrespect situation or are just blissfully ignorant, Dr. Disrespect back in 2020 got banned from Twitch, his main streaming platform, for reasons unknown to the wider public. Everyone was kind of shocked. Twitch was not telling anyone what actually happened, so we had to just kind of piece things together and it was basically silence up until 2024, in which one of the ex-Twitch employees just flat out said that he got banned for being a weirdo and texting minors inappropriately. There's a whole lot of back and forth about if Dr. Disrespect actually did this or not, up until one, his own company came out and was like, hey, yeah, we're actually gonna fire him for this because there's a lot of damning evidence and Dr. Disrespect coming out and in his own tweet admitting that there were inappropriate messages with a minor back in 2017. Within this message, he asserts that there was no real intention behind the messages. They were just casual and mutual conversations that went a little bit too inappropriate at times, all while denying any illegal activity. And this is kind of where everything falls apart. We don't know what was in those Twitch messages and we have no way of knowing. Dr. Disrespect refuses to show any evidence and Twitch also refuses to show any evidence even though both of them very clearly have the Twitch whispers that took place. He also states no pictures were shared, no meetups were made, nothing. Apparently, according to him, the situation went through a civil case and he also emphasizes that there was no charges or criminal anything happening within there. That was a month ago where he blatantly outright does say that he was texting a minor inappropriately. And as a matter of fact, here's just the here's the screenshot. You could, you could read it for yourself if you want to. He even goes on to say that this ban was because of these messages themselves within this tweet, which we will get back to here later. He also says that he was never able to speak on the matter for several years due to legal issues that were going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of problems with everything within this tweet. For instance, for the several years, he pretended that he didn't know anything about his Twitch ban and just kept everyone out of the loop. Now. It is also on Twitch because obviously Dr. Disrespect is not going to show evidence that he is a predator. It is up to Twitch to show that evidence because he is the one being accused. Twitch has not done so and honestly I don't think they are going to which is allowing Dr. Disrespect to get away with a lot of crazy shit right now. Specifically the crazy shit he's getting away with is coming back to YouTube as two days ago Dr. Disrespect came back on a giant stream where he almost broke records. I mean, he had like a, at, at a point, 150,000 concurrent viewers. That's the highest my memory goes up to. I think it went past that actually. It was a pretty long stream, but within there, there is like a 20 to 24 minute rant that he goes on that is actually pretty damn important because it is about the messages and the Twitch ban and the whole situation that's going on in which he goes on to blame a bunch of Twitch employees for leaking the information and making it misleading. He denies the accusations of the Twitch whispers being sexual in nature or illegal in nature, which directly conflicts with his Twitter statement where he flat out says they do go into some inappropriate places sometimes. I engage with my community. I engage with other streamers. 
And through Twitch whispers, I communicate with Twitch users. Conversations that consisted of a variety of playing games and gaming politics, content creation, random stuff. This was the extent of my whispers with this Twitch user. He also claims that Twitch is banning him without reason, as apparently, according to him, they never actually did a proper investigation into any of this. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! Because apparently the messages were out of context, which we can't even tell because we don't have the messages. He's kind of just basing all this on the fact that people might believe him, which we'll get to that because it's a, it is a mess right now in the Dr. Disrespect field. He also starts going on this really weird part of the rant where he starts trying to throw people under the bus for really insane things, by the way. A streamer that frequently used the N-word while publicly streaming, which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent. Twitch scheduled a meeting with the streamer to ascertain his intent to determine whether his contact was a violation of Twitch's policies, ultimately determining it was not a breach of Twitch's policies. Why wasn't I called into a, from, into a meeting? Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Hmm. Example number two. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. Example number three. Streamer was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead, hmm, given a multi-million dollar contract. All of which he never actually names, and I've never heard of any of these cases going on, so I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. If he actually provided names for any of this, then we'd actually have something, but since he didn't, he could have easily just made it up off the top of his head with nothing. And I know the reason why he didn't name anyone is because if he did name someone, he opens himself up to a massive defamation case. But on top of that, wouldn't this also open up a massive defamation case from Twitch itself? Could they not sue him for this? Because that sounds like slander to me, since he's putting the blame on Twitch themselves and not any actual streamers. He goes on to say that the ban might have been because of internal biases against him, because he's super macho, super masculine, super down to earth and doesn't give a shit about anything except for when you start making jokes about him being a predator, which he openly admitted to. Which it could have been. I mean, it's known that Twitch is biased, but I don't think bias warrants a ban. Most people on their service that they don't like, they don't just ban for no reason. My favorite part about this entire stream that Dr. Disrespect does is he tries to blame it on journalists and commentary YouTubers for running with the story without any evidence. Which I have to say, the only reason anyone actually ran with this story was because you yourself admitted to the fact that you texted a minor inappropriately in your own text. But that's not even the wildest part. The wildest part is he says that he did that to get at the journalists. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> so you're telling me that you pretended to be a pedophile to pull one over on journalists and mainstream media and commentary YouTubers, so that way you could prove that you're not a pedophile? Excuse me, what are you, what? I don't know what type of 10 IQ play he was trying to go with here, but he's been hinting at the fact that he was going to say this for a minute now with vague posts like this like genuinely he thinks that he has won the game by pretending he is a predator which to be fair i don't think that he was pretending i think this is him backpedaling super super heavy because obviously he doesn't want to look like he admitted to being a creep and a weirdo with minors the the <laughs> another wild part about this stream is people in the messages were actually asking for the messages to be shown which by the way you could not chat in his YouTube stream 
unless you were subscribed for 13 weeks or more. Clearly giving off a certain type of bias because this whole situation happened like two months ago. So most of the people who would be even complaining about this situation could not even speak, which I mean, it's your chat, do whatever you want with it, right? But that is insane that you were trying to create an echo chamber. Which he successfully did, by the way, because now we have a bunch of people on Twitter and on YouTube and just realistically anywhere they can be defending him and saying that he actually said anything. And there, there's so many people, especially Keemstar. Hey, Keem, if you're watching this video, doubt you are. Don't defend predators. Like, I, you've been on this weird tirade on Twitter about how he said a bunch of cool stuff and like, Oh yeah, he really brought evidence to the table that changes my mind. Did we watch the same stream? This entire stream is literally him whining and complaining that people are making fun of him for being a weirdo with minors. And again, he flat out admits it. Why are we even talking about it like he didn't say that he talked to a minor inappropriately when he flat out admitted it? He says he wants to continue to create content and move forward despite the controversy and try and just keep streaming uh, which he's going to be able to continue to do because twitch is refusing to show the whispers and dr disrespect is not going to do it either someone needs to just leak these goddamn messages out already otherwise we just have a predator roaming around that got away with it scot-free another thing i find really funny about this uh the stream that he did is he opened it with him riding a boat or like a ski to an island the jokes do write themselves like he is he is so he does not understand irony whatsoever like i can't understand how after months of people calling you the jeffrey epstein of youtube you decide that you're gonna open your stream with you going to an island man like it's been a wild week dude twitch drop the messages dr disrespect get the fuck off get off get offline stop talking stop it keemstar why are you even defending this guy stop it and everyone i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please go ahead and leave a like please go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below let me know what you think anyways i gotta drop this video so 